Hi there! In this video, I'm gonna show you three easy ways to loop your animations inside of After Effects, whether it be individual shapes or full compositions. So let's get started. Let's say that you got an animation, a very simple animation like this, and you just needed to animate back and forth endlessly without you having to animate by hand each different keyframe. Is there an easy way to do that? There is, and this is how you do it. There's two ways to animate basic animations like this with keyframes. The first way is to highlight your keyframes, hold Alt on the little stopwatch icon left to the property, and this will bring out the expressions editor. Don't worry about this for now. We don't, we don't want to mess with it just yet. Just click this little arrow down here that says expression language menu, then go to property, loop out type cycle. Click that. This is not going to work. It's going to give you an error notice down here. The reason why this is not working is because it needs you to animate the animation going back in order for it to repeat it over and over again. Right here, we got this rotation value going from zero to two rotations at two seconds. So I'm going to bring it to four seconds and set this to zero. So this last keyframe is the same keyframe as the first one. So as you can see, last keyframe, first keyframe, and when I play it, it's rotating back and forth. But the difference now is that now if we do the same process, we highlight them, go to the arrow, property, loop out cycle. Now we don't have that error message. And now look at this. It's animating back and forth endlessly without us having to make the keyframe. So this composition could be endless and this will continue animating back and forth, back and forth, without you having to do it by hand. But now there is a way for you to do this without having to add this extra keyframe. So this second way of doing it without this extra keyframe, with just the basic animation of it going back and forth, is this. So I'm gonna delete this again. Let's forget about that. Highlight keyframes, hold Alt or Option on your keyboard and click the little stopwatch. Click the little arrow. Go to property, loop out cycle, just like the before. But now you want to edit this cycle text, highlight it and delete it, and replace it with this word called ping pong. If you name it ping pong, it no longer has the error. And instead, it's going back and forth with just two keyframes. So this is kind of like a ping pong method, right? It goes back and forth ping pong automatically. So what's the advantage of using cycles instead of using the ping pong? Since the ping pong is so much easier and only requires you to animate once, the cycles gives you these three keyframes that represent the in animation and the exit animation. And if you drag them, you can control how fast they go. So here it's gonna enter, it's gonna animate to the right at the same speed, but animate back to the left at twice the speed and it's looping back and forth following that same speed proportion. If I make this super long and this super short, we got the same effect. So that was technique number one. Use cycles or ping pongs with a single keyframes animation. Now the second technique in order to loop individual animations is going to be to loop entire compositions using something called time stretch. So let's say that you got this huge composition right here and you want to reverse all of them without having to manually keyframe them or add expression and looping expressions to each one. We don't want to do that. What you want to do is that first figure out where your animations end. In this case, it animates roughly around here. You don't have to be exact. That's fine. And then you want to trim your layer so they all end at that point. So in this case, you can do that by dragging them by clicking on the end of the ledger and dragging it back. Or you can hold all or option on your keyboard and hit the right bracket to trim your layer. Now these layers disappear right at that point. And now what we wanna do is we wanna group these layers so we can manipulate them all together. And to do that, just highlight all of your layers for your animation, right click and select pre-compose. And pre-compose is pretty much like grouping. I'm going to call this entire composition for looping. 
and then I'm gonna make sure that the option that says adjust composition duration to the time span of the selected layers is turned on. This is gonna allow us to play with the time stretch and with the looping. So make sure this is on and it's gonna create a pre-composition, which is like a group for the layers that we selected. Now, what's the trick here? This is gonna end right here. Now you wanna bring out an option called stretch and to bring it out, I have it right here out, but to bring it out, let's say that you don't have it out, right click the bar and hit go to columns and stretch to bring out the time stretch. And what is stretch? Stretch is like a number that represents the speed of your playback. Let's say that this, if you click it and you enter 50%, it's gonna play twice as fast because it's gonna be half as long. It's gonna be 50% of the durations. So let me bring this to the end right here by clicking end on my keyboard. You can set your work area duration by clicking end or B. So I'm gonna click it around here so it plays back faster and here it's playing twice as fast because we are at 50% stretch and if I set this for to let's say 300% now look at how long it is because it's playing three times slower than it should play so this is basically how stretch works but what we're going to do is that we're going to go back to 100% and to create the looping effect we want to duplicate this composition by clicking Ctrl or Command D on our keyboard and then we want to set this time stretch to let's say minus 100% and now it reverses the layer because it's going in the negatives it's playing backwards so now if I set the end of the composition here at the last frame of the second layer we got looping there it is it is going out and going in seamlessly so if you export this composition as it is after effects will cut off this comp right at this point and it will loop seamlessly on platforms like instagram linkedin and facebook and other places that auto to play your videos and if you need this to be longer you can just grab these two layers duplicate them bring them up so they are on the top and then move them left and right by dragging them with the mouse and you can hold shift on your keyboard to snap it to different locations so that makes it easy to snap it right on the correct spot so now we got this loop playing twice now this is nice for full compositions the only downside is that it's not infinite you gotta manually copy and paste the comp or duplicate the compositions and drag them forward like this so that was technique number two for time stretching but now let's undo all of this and introduce the most powerful one by far the technique number three, which is using time remapping. So I undid all of what we just did and we just have the composition that we group or pre-compose right here. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna right click our composition and we're gonna select, go to time, enable time remapping. And now two keyframes are gonna show up. What are these keyframes? These keyframes represent the playback of the video. As you can see, the time remapping value is just time. It's going from zero to it's going from zero to two and a half seconds because this represents how long these animations last inside of the composition and after it ends it disappears that's because this is where the playback ends and when the layers disappear so what you want to do is that this last keyframe represents the end of your animation so if you want this animation to start over and restart what you can do is that you can use the same ping pong expression that we saw before. So highlight your keyframes and go to the arrow, uh, go to property, loop out, icon. Just like what we did on the first technique, because this is a keyframe. This is, these are keyframes, this is an animation. You can loop it using the same technique that we saw first, ping pong. And now look at what's going to happen. These two keyframes are going to ping pong back and forth looping seamlessly and endlessly which is perfect for our purposes and we can even make it faster we can make it faster and it's gonna loop faster or we can make it slower by dragging these keyframes Separ separate these keyframes to make them take longer and it's gonna loop at the same slow speed so this is really 
powerful because it is endless and you got free control by moving these keyframes which represent all of your animations together in the same pre-composition. Another way that you could do this, which takes a little bit more effort but gives you more control, let's bring this back to how it was, let's say at two seconds it ends the animations, and we can just drag the first keyframe which represents zero in the playback and duplicate it, copy and paste, and now it's playing back once and if you remember the first technique, this is a great opportunity to use the cycles expression instead. So it can loop over and over again. So I'm gonna hold Alt or Option on my keyboard to bring out the expressions editor. Click the little arrow again, property, go to property, loop out cycle, key, click out, and there we have it. It's gonna play back and forth using these first three keyframes as a reference. And what's the difference between this method and just using the ping pong. Well, if I drag this last keyframe like this, the exit is get speed up, but not the opening. So it's opening at the same speed, but it's exiting faster. Or you can drag this like a lot to exaggerate it, drag the entrance a lot to the right. So now the in animation is very slow and it exits quickly. And we have this control because we have this visual representation by having these three keyframes to control how fast it is. Here, I'm gonna drag this like this to the left so it's fast in the beginning and it's very slow to exit because it's so far away from the exit keyframe if you wanna call it that way. Entry, exit. Entry, exit. So not only you are looping endlessly, but you're also controlling the animations, entries, and exit seamlessly and easily by just using these keyframes. Now that you know how to loop entire compositions, what about animating many layers at the same time? Is there a way to work smarter rather than having to hand keyframe each layer? There is, and I will show you on the next video, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. I'll see you there.